1947, General Ramey's chief of staff was Colonel Thomas DuBose. Shortly before he died, he was interviewed on home video. As a retired Brigadier General, he is the highest ranking officer ever to comment on the Roswell incident. It was a cover story. The balloon part of it is the story that's to be given to the press, and that is it, and, and anything else, forget it. And McMullen, if you ever knew him, he, if you told him that he wanted to run something, he goddamn sure ran it. He, he knew every facet of the operation. He's a busybody. He, he, wanted to, he wanted to know what the hell was going on, who was pissing on the sidewalk, and all that sort of thing. General McMullen, the deputy head of Strategic Air Command at the Pentagon, was in charge of the entire operation, according to General DuBose. McMullen told me, you are not to discuss this, and this is a point of which this is more than top secret, as he said. It's beyond that, it's within the, my priority as deputy to, to George Kenney, and he in turn responsible to the president, this is the highest priority you can exist, and you will say nothing, and that's the end of it. And, and Jesus, that's in the commander-in-chief, and, uh, and, you did, and you forgot about it. The revelations of DuBose suggested the American Air Force did indeed have something important to hide.